Hello, this is Matt from Matt Team The Apps, and this is a brand new video format to the channel where I will take a topic and explain exactly what it is in under 10 minutes. So this video is, what is SwiftUI? So if you're an iOS dev or have any interest in developing apps for Apple products, chances are you've heard of SwiftUI. SwiftUI is a brand new framework, so like a set of tools for you to use it in your projects, focused on creating the UI or the user interface in your apps. It makes creating your UI clean, fast, and honestly, pretty easy to do. SwiftUI was announced at WWDC 2019, but our story today doesn't start there. Instead, let's jump quickly back five more years to WWDC 2014, where the entire world of iOS app development was flipped upside down almost overnight. Up until this point, iOS apps were created in a code language called Objective-C, which by this point was pretty old and pretty clunky. So Apple announced Swift, a brand new code language to use when making iOS apps. Swift is a much cleaner language, much nicer to use, and comes with a whole bunch of benefits. Swift has been on a journey since its official release in September 2014, evolving with big and small changes along the way. In many ways, SwiftUI is just another step in Swift's ongoing journey. Just as Swift tried to make it easier and cleaner for us to make apps, SwiftUI aims to do the same thing when it comes to us making UI. SwiftUI is what is known as a declarative way of creating the UI in your app. That sounds kind of complicated, but it pretty much means we can set up a UI, tell SwiftUI how we want it to look and what we want it to do, and the rest will be figured out for us. The best way to understand this is to compare it to what we had before. Before SwiftUI, we used UIKit. UIKit is not declarative, and it's what is called imperative. In UIKit, we would probably use a storyboard to create a view, and then link this up with an outlet to a view controller. If we wanted this view to interact with data, such as showing a number in a view, we'd have to set up some code to listen out for our data updating, and then manually update all of our views. This could get pretty complicated pretty fast, and it can be the cause for a lot of bugs. In SwiftUI, we specify how we want our views to work with data, and well, that's it. For example, we can take a view and we can say, okay, display some data, like an integer, for example. When this integer updates, the view will update automatically to show this new value. We declare that this view will display the value that we want, and the rest will happen automatically so everything stays in sync. No more having to update views when data changes. It's declarative, the views know how to behave and we can just trust them to do it. In SwiftUI, there are so many things you can do with this data binding. It's genuinely very powerful. Not only is SwiftUI declarative, it also brings a lot of brand new features. SwiftUI has introduced modifiers. Modifiers make it easier than ever to style our objects. When it comes to modifiers, we can create a view, use a dot, and then simply say how we want to style it. We can achieve some incredibly powerful effects on our views using these modifiers. Some of these effects would have been very hard and very fiddly to do in UIKit, but with modifiers, we can do it within seconds. SwiftUI also introduces a new form of stack view for a new layout system. Because of this, we no longer need auto layout. We just create stacks of views, configure the stacks, and SwiftUI will figure out how to make this UI look on different screen sizes. When using SwiftUI, we can use live previews in a canvas in Xcode. Live previews, as the name suggests, will let you preview your UI and your app in real time as you code. This will remove having to constantly run your app on a device or a simulator when you build it. Not only that, but you can also have a whole bunch of different previews open at once, all updating in real time. These previews can be different sizes, a mix of light mode and dark mode, different local languages and different accessibility features. It genuinely is a really incredible tool. Another awesome thing that SwiftUI offers is that it makes it easier than ever to make apps for different Apple devices. With SwiftUI, we can make one UI and we can run this on iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV, and Mac. You have to make some small tweaks to make your UI more appropriate for each platform, but still, no more completely different UIs for each different platform. That is pretty incredible. As I hope you can see, there's a whole bunch of good things when it comes to SwiftUI. However, there are of course some downsides. The biggest issue is that apps made with SwiftUI can only be used on devices running iOS 13 or above. If you make an app that you want to run on iOS 12 or lower, you can't use SwiftUI. 
This is currently the biggest obstacle for Swift UI and is currently the issue that holds a lot of people back. However, iOS 14 has just been released. So more and more devices are running iOS 13 and up. So this issue is becoming smaller by the day. Also, SwiftUI is still such a new framework. It's likely to grow and change pretty fast. So you may experience the case of working on a UI, a new update comes out, and then you have to make some changes to work with this new update. Whilst that is important to note, it's the case for all new frameworks. So I wouldn't let that put you off. So that leads on to our final question of this video. Should I learn Swift UI or should I stick to UIKit? Honestly, in my opinion, you need to know both. Swift UI is surely the future of app development in the Apple world. So if you want to make apps for Apple devices in the coming years, you're gonna to have to learn it. Swift UI will become the biggest focus and the default in this industry very soon. So the earlier you pick up these skills, the better. However, UIKit was such an important framework for so many years, it's gonna be lingering around in projects for quite a few years. It might change in the coming years, but at time of recording, UIKit is just as important as SwiftUI. If you're brand new to development and you're not sure if you should look at UIKit or SwiftUI, I say go for SwiftUI. Even if you want to learn both, the learning curve for SwiftUI, in my opinion, is a little bit easier. So I hope you decide to learn SwiftUI. It's such an exciting area, and whilst it's still fairly new, SwiftUI is surely the future of app development in the Apple world. So that is what SwiftUI is, and that brings an end to this video. As always, thank you for watching. Leave any comments or questions down in the comments section, and let me know what you think of SwiftUI. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.